you'd have been embarrassed if you'd have gone into the changing rooms and dived. You know, it would absolutely take you apart in the dressing room if you're diving about on the, on the training pitch. It won't be allowed. Uh, the, the, you mentioned Jelovic. He is a big difference for Everton. But also, uh, David Moyes said there that the pre-season was interesting, that he gave him a break, gave him a week off and um, sent them off to Mallorca, wherever it might be, and then had them back. And, and that's the only thing they've done differently. Well, you know, you got, they might have gone back a bit early to pre-season most, uh, most teams, so that allows them to have an extra week in, in the middle of pre-season, which obviously worked for them. It, 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 what happens again with that was a psychological thing. He's been very, very clever. He said, well, I'm going to get the players on side. And, and as stupid as it sounds... Everyone as, likes a holiday. Exactly. <laughs> as, as, as a player as well, if the, play, if the manager's looking after you, psychologically, you can say, I'm going to look after the manager. OK, well, the Merseyside derby is one of four games on Match of the Day 2 tomorrow, along with Chelsea and Manchester United. And Murray, Hanson and Lasso in the studio, 10.25 on BBC One. And on BBC One this afternoon, 2.15, it's Wales, England in the Rugby League Awesome International. Come on, England! <laughs> Thank you. Huddersfield <laughs> Giants player Earl Crabtree's in the studio. Now, opposing fans have been known to shout, you're just a fat Robbie Savage at him. Uh, we can't think why, but there you go. If you do, turn a bit to the left, Rob. Just turn. There it is. Look at that. The other way. He could, I, 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 could be a, I could be a thin Earl Crabtree. You could. You could. You've, you've done it very well. And now, uh, three World Premier League games uh, left to look at this weekend. Here's Damien again. With Roberto Mancini's tactics being questioned due to Manchester City's Euro crisis, it's not just the team that was forced onto the defensive this week. If you are a top player, it's not important which system you use. If you don't understand, won't say that you are not top player. You can play for a top team. But the champions are starting to bare their teeth domestically, largely thanks to the Bosnian, on or should that be off the bench. Dzeko cost £27 million, mere loose change for the men from Abu Dhabi. But a humble Swansea are back up and running again, thanks to yet another Premier League goal from a little-known Spaniard, who cost just £2 million. The Magpies are ticking along just fine. Blocked by the knees of Mignolet. Kabay is there to follow up. Newcastle have the lead. Their ten men held on for a creditable derby draw at Sunderland. What resilience and the captain today. He was brilliant. The Newcastle boss later suggested Fabrizio Colaccini was the Geordie equivalent of Bobby Moore. The perfect timing. For the Baggies, they're simply hoping to get back on the horse after taking a tumble at home to the champions last weekend. Saints welcome back Gareth Bale, who returns for the first time since moving to Spurs for £10 million, aged just 17. He missed the defeat to Chelsea, but is back after becoming a proud new father. The hapless hosts have conceded goals galore. And goal! Spurs have a shocking record at Southampton, but as always, the Saints aren't lacking in homegrown flair. So, can Adam Lalana prove that, despite Bale's new arrival, he's the daddy at St Mary's nowadays?